Arsenal 4, Leeds 1. Come on, you Gunners. Cup game, 1 out of 10 completed. Let's go on. 9 left. And we've won the league if we win them all. So that's all I'm saying. Uh, there's going to be twists and turns, but we're on the right path. Another convincing win. Another lovely home win. But also another home win that we can't keep a fucking clean sheet. I do not know why. It's like we're cursed. And I think it's that we're, we're battering teams so much now that when, um, that when obviously, uh, we're, not to say we're playing the most amazing football, but where we're going like 3-0 up early-ish, we've still like another half an hour left or something. I think that like we're going to second gear and sometimes, you know, our football is like a, a chance and they get a goal and it's, a, it's like a deflection or a corner or something. But the good thing about it is every single time we can see them, we're like, oh, God, like it's 3-1. If they get another goal early, it's going to be a little sticky last bit of the game. We're going to score another goal. Um, so, like, I mean, right now, it's all positives, really. Um, yeah, just went into the game. I was pretty confident about the game. Saliba's still not in the squad. Um Obviously, they're saying we don't know how long he's going to be out for. Hopefully, he's back as soon as possible. But once again, Rob Holding come in. Perfect. Uh, perfect performance for me. Didn't do anything wrong. Wasn't at fault for the goal. There was a bit with the goal. He might have been stepping off a bit too much. But, you know, like Saliba might do the same thing. I've seen him do similar things. So, um, nothing to blame Rob Holding about. Quality performance. I think Rob Holding's passing from the back has improved tremendously. Um, I really do. Um, but yeah, going into the game, I was thinking, like, let's get some goal difference. Let's let's come back with a bounce. Definitely after Liverpool losing to City and City getting them massive three points against Liverpool that we all thought maybe that could be where they slipped up. But with that defence, fuck me, man. Liverpool was shocking. But not on that game, on our game. Game starts, Jesus back in the starting eleven. Party was in the team. All looking positive. Start the game. We started a little bit, a little bit lacklustre. I think, like, I don't know, the international break might have... Uh, Got to a few players. Saka was starting on the bench, which was huge news because um, he always starts. But he did play a lot of international football. He played the whole game in the second game. So I think it was right to drop him. And now we've got Trossard in the team. Our front three of Trossard, Martinelli and Jesus. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, you don't end up missing Saka. And, that says, and that's not to downplay Saka's abilities or anything. It's just to say our squad depth is now decent. You know, when we've got everyone fit. Uh, in the attacking sense, even though we're still missing Eddie. Um, but yeah, we start the game. Jesus back again. He's looking good. He, uh, gets the ball, doing bits, doing pieces. Then he gets us a little break. Probably, maybe even against the run of play because Leeds could have probably got a goal. But uh, Ramsdale made a few big saves. But against the run of play um, in the box, it's just, it's, you know what it is? He's, he, he, he sold Ailing. So he slid and then he's gone past him. But Aileen's leg's still in the air, clipped his knee. Jesus goes down, we get a penalty. People are saying, this is never a penalty, that's never a penalty. That is a penalty. It's soft. I would argue that if I made the rules of football, that probably wouldn't be a penalty. But the fact of the matter is, I've seen countless times this happen against Arsenal and against other teams, and it's a penalty. So you can't, so it is a penalty. There's loads of rules where I disagree with in football, but by the letter of the law, it is Jesus' clever work. And Aldegaard stepped up to take the penalty. And then, obviously, either Jesus said something or he thought about it, and he's given the penalty to Jesus. Now, this shows me what a real captain is. Aldegaard is a real captain, you know, and this team is a real team. You know, like, Jesus has come back from injury. He needs a goal. Aldegaard is currently on... 11 goals, right? Or 10 goals. Um, he's looking, it's looking like his highest scoring season. I think it already is. Um, so he could be looking to get more and more goals. But he don't. He gives it to Jesus because Jesus needs a goal. Now, I'll, sh I'll use the comparison of the other day when uh, Tottenham got a pen. And I know Harry Kane's chasing the all-time goal scorer record. He might be chasing the golden boot this season. You've got a player on your team in Richardson that has not scored a goal this season. Give him the penalty. Give him a penalty. Let him score a goal. Sometimes you score a goal and then you see what happens. And in this game, we see what happened. So Jesus steps up, 
puts the penalty away like no one's business. Easy for him. Um, lo love the guy. Looked so happy when he scored. Uh, so happy for him as well. He deserves it. He's been he's been gone for a long time. You know, um, he deserved it. And massive shout out to all the guard. What a captain to do that. Didn't have to, but he did. And it's and it shows that if every player in this team now realizes that the team is more important than themselves. And that is the biggest thing about Arsenal this season. And that's why we're doing so well. Everyone understands that winning an Arsenal football club is bigger than Bukayo Saka. Arsenal football club is bigger than Gabriel Jesus, than Zinchenko, than Xhaka. They all realise that. They all know that it's about Arsenal and it's about the fans and the club and, and all the players. You know, so, what? yeah, lovely stuff. Then we go into the... Um, to the next goal that we scored, uh, Lu Benny Blanco, man. Ben White, another superb game from Ben White. This guy is so underrated. And th that, that goal just says, Southgate, you're a fucking idiot. Pick this man. It's so stupid that this man don't get into the team. But that's another conversation for another day. Um, lovely, lovely ball from Martinelli. Picks it up, runs, puts the ball across. Back post. Similar to the goal that um, Ben White scored the other week. Very similar. So that is obviously something that we've been do we've been practicing on the training ground of him making that late run, getting to the back post ahead of the defender and tapping it in. It's obviously it's been something we've been working on and it's working. So Ben White, I was so happy for him as well. He looked so happy with the goal. Then we go through uh, to the third goal and then um, beautiful, beautiful goal. Yeah, started and ended by Gabriel Jesus. And this is what I tell you about getting a goal and confidence being back. The pass he made to Trossard. Trossard, this guy, I can't say enough about this guy. He has been the signing of January for any team. I don't care. He's already on like six to seven goal contributions for Arsenal since January. He has been 25 million. He's been the best signing for any club in January. Unreal signing. and um. I think, yeah, he's he's done it. And then he's, he just knows Jesus is running. He's taking a look. He sees him running and puts it across perfectly. Boom, Jesus scores second goal of the game. Uh, beautiful goal, man. Beautiful goal. Um, and I was only gutted for Jesus coming off because I thought, oh, man, it would be nice for him to get a hat-trick. But we've got to think, again, not about personal stuff, about the team. And him coming off and getting rest after being injured for so long, is the right choice. Um, yeah, then we're 3-0 up, and we can start making subs. This is the thing that we're doing good right now. We've not only got one game a week, we're putting teams away, so we can then make four to five subs and take the better players off, take the older guards off, take the, if you need to take a centre-back off, if you need to take off uh, Zinchenko, Ben White, uh, if you need to take off uh, normally Saka or Martinelli or, or Jesus, you can do it, Partey. I don't know if I've already said him, but we could take all these guys off and keep people fresh, which is amazing. Then they get back into it. They get a goal. Not back into it, but they get a goal against the run of play again. It was sort of like they come through a little break and then it goes to, I can't think if his name's Christensen or something, and he shoots. And I feel sorry for Ramsdale because this guy just wants to keep clean sheets, man. And he, he would have had it. It takes a deflection off of um, Zinchenko and it goes in. It's one of them ones. But we don't feel sorry for ourselves. We don't go, oh, fuck, we've conceded. And I'm really seeing the Man City in this team now. Like I know people want to say, ah, B-Tech, man, whatever it is. But that style that is like, you know, we've, we've conceded. It is what it is. We just got to score again. Like, it's not conceding the goal. Normally, we used to concede goals and start going, ah, start panicking and then we concede again and again and we fucking draw or lose the game. You know, we're not doing that anymore, which is amazing. Uh, and then the last goal, what a ball from Martin Aldegaard. What a pass. Straight on the head of Xhaka. What a header. What a goal. Xhaka. Xhaka. This guy, he keeps scoring. I'm telling you, man. Xhaka is uh, it's unreal, man. I think it could be go... It, if we win the league this year, Xhaka could go right down as one of the best turnarounds in football ever. Like, I'm talking, I'm real talk, like, not in the sense of ability or like, even that as well, but I mean, the fact that he was gone, man. He was, like, the fans hated him. Like, 90% of the fans did not like him. He was gone. He, he fell out of love with the club and it somehow become an even stronger, better love. 
for each other and respect for each other. And it's beautiful, man. I love it. And you can see what it means to him, man. And it does mean a lot, man. And I think that's why, as football fans, we need to calm down with getting onto players and saying stupid shit like their, about their families and stuff just when shit ain't going our way or, or a guy ain't playing good. Because at the end of the day, just because they're not playing good or, or, or they make mistakes or stuff don't mean they don't care about the club. You know, there, there's a difference. They might not be capable to play for the club, but it don't mean they don't care about the club. And that's what we can't uh, mistake. But yeah, man, everything was everything about this game, positive. Uh, obviously, the clean sheet would have been better, but it is what it is. Um, we go again next game, Liverpool at Anfield. Huge game. We if we If we win that game... I think we're really, really close to winning that league, you know. Um, yeah. It, it, I've already said if we go, if we beat Liverpool and then keep winning and we go to that City game and we beat City, we've won the league. Um, as simple as that. After that, we've we've just won the league if that happens. So, um, in my opinion. But um, we've got to see into the next game. We're going to go forward. Positive manager. Positive. Great team selection. Dropping Saka for me. Uh, get him some rest. He's been playing a lot and it's going to make him hungry to come on next game. So yeah, let's go Arsenal. Let's keep it up. Come on, you Gunners. I almost, I almost ended it without saying all my bits, all my like, subscribe, share, comment below if you disagree or agree with everything I've said. Arsenal have got me so gassed that I just, I forget, you know, because this season's unreal and I don't, it's still unbelievable. Sometimes I'm still there like, nah, this ain't happening, man. We ain't doing this good. But yeah, um, also just a little shout out. We're now 22 points above Man United and like 37 above Chelsea. So yeah, fuck you guys. And Tottenham, you're dead. <laughs> but yeah, um, unbiased sports. Peace.